Uh, I guess I'm kind of in line with Rich, where I thought it was incredibly mediocre. Not worth getting angry about, and, and but not really a whole lot to praise. I don't yeah. understand what, when you call this show mediocre, they call you a Disney shill. They don't yeah. understand what that means. Any nuance is lost no, on no, no. discussing any of these Star Wars products. Every, everything's not as black and white. Everything's not, it's, it's f terrible or it's great. Squid Game's actor yeah. uh, propped up the whole show. I thought he was good. He's, he he's, felt like a, a stoic, serious, real Jedi. Yeah, it's too. I he thought did, he did a damn good job compared to a lot of the other yeah, performances. Yeah, he's very like charismatic. He's very like um, he's got the it, and he's the only one in the show who has like the it factor. Yeah, uh, I'm excluding Carrie Ann Moss. Who's, well, um, uh, but that's that's why this reminded me of the prequels too. Is that it, it is mostly lacking in fun and in joy and excitement. So let's throw in a little rodent tracker guy who will add a little bit of levity to a show that is basically missing all levity. Yeah. And he was my favorite part. That oh, little yeah. tracker rodent guy was fun. Oh, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> uh, um. Man, this is some bullshit! Boo this man! But the actual production design is nice. Like they have all these wonderful sets and yeah. they're shooting on like mountainsides and cliffs and like real locations, not on the uh, the volume, like the right. Mandalorian show. Well, famously this show had a $200 million budget or something like each episode costs like $25 million okay. or something like that. So all, all that stuff looks nice. And I would like to see that with uh, an actual engaging story. It's basically a two-hour movie that's been stretched to, I don't know, 6.3 hours? Yeah, it's they were really stretching, because I looked at the, ti the like, times of the episodes, and they're all like 45, 48 minutes, but then you tack on at the beginning of each episode, the previously on, yeah. then the opening title, and then like eight minutes of end credits. Each episode is like eight thirty to minutes. minutes yeah. I was I was shocked at how long the credits for each episode were. And each thirty-minute episode contains approximately four minutes of story content. <laughs> yeah, sometimes less, but uh, that's an average, I guess. Boring tone and uh, Jedi being kind of stupid and easily manipulated and tricked. This this feels the most like the prequels out of anything. Uh, post original trilogy that I've seen, lots of lots of ideas in it that uh, just in the concept alone to me feels very like prequel era Lucas ideas, but executed in a way that's a, a little more polished, but also incredibly boring. Like, it was very front loaded the first half of the season. There's a lot of like things that are established and then immediately resolved. Mm. Like that first episode, Soul. Is like your sister. Uh, we believe May is dead, and then like the very next scene, my sister's not dead. I believe you, and then we move on. Yeah. There's a lot of that type of stuff. Whereas like, well, why even bother establishing that? It's, it's very badly written. Um, in in the when you you know break it down, mm -hmm. when you start pulling the threads out. And that's the stuff that's more important to me than what the guy's helmet is made of. Like, who cares yeah, about those it's details? Almost like, like, and we're going to leave you on an automated space transport so that you can escape. <laughs> and so both of those things, it's like, okay, and it's like, oh, that's stupid. But the plot needed her to escape and do things and, you know, uh, have an adventure and then get, I guess, get immediately recaptured. <laughs> it, was, it was almost like filler. Yeah. And then... You gotta have stuff happen. Because I went back and I rewatched, because I was barely paying attention the first time. I went back and rewatched, and I'm like, why did they think, like, wasn't she on the spaceship? Mm -hmm. Doesn't she got the receipts for that, as the kids say? Yeah, yeah. And then there's a throwaway line where her friend, who's also a mech neck, says, Osha, why didn't you come out last night? You missed a wild trip to Nashadar with the piloting crew? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, it's, it's like someone went back and just like threw that stupid line in there to like cover their tracks yeah. because you, you start like picking this whole thing apart. Plot contrivances that's used for like lazy screenwriting is the misunderstanding and the not explaining to a character what is going on because the plot demands it. And that's the entire show is that? It's not just like a one like plot point in a movie. It's the entire series is built on that. Just like the, the lazy contrivance of 
not knowing all the information and not being told the information, because if you were, then there would be no story. Exactly. <laughs> and that's the season. Like, like, how did all the witches die? They clearly didn't get burned. They're all just laying there dead. They're not burnt up. And I'm still not sure after the second flashback how they all died. They're controlling Chewbacca. They all, uh, had, they all had brain aneurysms <laughs> because Carrie Moss broke their psychic link. And that just killed them. I think so. Okay. I was very, I, I assume, like, obviously that's, you know, she takes the spell off of the Wookiee Jedi. Yes. And then they all just fall over. I, I was like, I guess that, yeah, all that, that killed them they, somehow. I can imagine this animated mm. in that, like, junky, like, Clone Wars style, like, cheapo CGI. Oh, sure. And, like... Uh, TV 14 rated for like Disney Junior. Mm -hmm. Minus the sexuality stuff, it all felt very like the le writing on level of like a, like a cartoon show. And that, that was the frustrating thing about this show is like I mentioned, the production design, I liked all that stuff. I, I think there, there's kernels of ideas that could be, if they were fleshed out more, the stakes were raised. It never really felt like it was that big of a deal that there were these twins that were created from nothing. But They'll yeah. explain it all I'll in never season know. two. I'll never know because I don't care <laughs> enough. But here's the thing, like, you said a kern kernels of good ideas, right? Yes, the, the, the virgins. That's why the Jedis are on the planet walking around with metal detectors. I was going to say, uh, they're just using, they're like, for a like science equipment to detect this nebulous... Uh, no, that's, uh, that's the Wookiee's, like, side project, okay. side hustle. He's okay. looking for coins. <laughs> that was, like, that, that whole... That's another, like, like, faulty plot line was the whole thing when everything fell apart because Tobin was like, ooh, I could leave now. He was just antsy to get off the planet. Yeah, just felt very rushed. Visually, them like sneak it, because that idea of like the, the Jedi kind of acting like cops, they go down to this planet to investigate, uh, but they're just like literally hiding behind trees, like Wile e. Coyote or something, like peeking their heads around. <sighs> well, see here, that's- The that... execution, it's all very silly. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's like the, the when they chased little Leia through the woods. Yeah, exactly. You know, this is stupid. Right. But here's the thing. Um, so that was the big. That's the big mistake the show made was was throw the Jedi's under the bus. Uh, it, it that all that kind of stuff is sort of interesting and could be done well, but there's so much like negativity surrounding the Jedi's. One, they're stupid. Yes. They do so many. <laughs> Stupid things. Uh, lesbian witch coven uh, ceremony and everybody was like memeing on that. But uh, in theory, I liked that idea that it's like, oh, okay, this is an offshoot of the Jedi call it the force. The, the Jedi are the, uh, the coven of witches call it the thread, right? And it's like, oh, okay, it's just another religion. Like a lot of religions have, you know, similarities and believe in similar things. And it's like, oh, that's an interesting kind of development in this, but and then it's just executed in like the most awkward and weird way. Yeah. I mean, I, I was okay with that. And but... it doesn't really amount to much because the Jedi are so kind of authoritarian. Yeah. The politics of the Jedi and how they interact with the, the government of Coruscant is, it, it will, could be interesting in the hands of other writers. But this portrayed the Jedi as, uh, uh, one, they're boring to begin with. Yes. But they're also incompetent and stupid and, uh, I don't know, heavy-handed, oafish, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's and, like and uh, with a, t a touch of religious authoritarianism. The heart of the show, unfortunately, is Osha and May, the least interesting characters ever created. <sighs> Yeah. Because the actress... They actually get less interesting as it goes along when you find out that they're basically the same person. That makes it less interesting. Yeah. They're well, not their own individual uh, people. Yeah, they're, the exact, they're clones of each other. They all, the, the acting makes me confused on which one it is. And then they switch clothes and that makes it worse. Mm -hmm. They go there and Sol uh, sees that they have lesbian parents and says, this is, this is, this is not a great environment for you to get raised in, you have to immediately leave and become part of the Jedi. And he's like, I loved her, I, you know? And uh, when? I worry she's not safe. I want to do what's best for Osha. You don't get to decide that. 
Yeah, we never get any. I guess that's the backstory, but that would have been more interesting to see than most of what we got on like the show. We, we get no, like, backstory of why he just absolutely loves these two girls. Yeah, because that's what it has to be to get to a point where uh, Osha and May basically switch sides and one becomes more evil and one be wants to become... That was very clever at the end when Osha, <laughs> the previously good character, is wearing dark colors. I'm picking up on your sarcasm. And May... The bad character was wearing the light colors. See, th this is that, the that was that was kind of the thing. Is like I thought the whole thing was going to be about their relationship, and it really isn't. Both May and uh, Osha, or Osha and Soul. Yeah. Any of those relationships on their own could have been flushed out into something interesting. They weren't. They weren't developed because they spent too much time stringing you along on a mystery that was sort of ultimately pointless. Yeah. I have a little section called Platitudes. The okay. whole show feels like that. Mm -hmm. I lost everything, but when you lose everything, that's when you're finally free. Quote. Which I, I think is a direct line from Fight Club, or very similar to a line from Fight Club. <laughs> it was lifted. I don't trust you, nor should you, but you should learn to trust yourself. We're not defined by what we lose. We're defined by what we survive. May has always been your wound. Maybe he brought you here to fix her, but maybe he brought you here to fix yourself. It's that kind of schmaltzy, like, sounds good in a trailer, but it doesn't sound like any human being would actually say it because it's so on the nose. The, the lines sound good in the show at the moment, but really they lack substance, hence yeah. a platitude. And you have to double down on what you want to do and what you want people to take away from it. Yeah. I got, I got nothing from the May Osha soul storyline. Mm -hmm. Barely anything, because nothing was given to us. Yeah. Same with the, the mothers. Every now and then there would be some kind of like scene where they would say a couple lines, you know, I'm Senator so-and-so, I'm Senator Rancor, pit monster. And uh, <laughs> I think what you Jedis are doing is weird. There's a murder and we're handling this investigation internally. Well, I'm going to tell the Senate, don't do that yet. Or, or uh, I don't know, end scene, get, get us out of here. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know. I, I'm not getting into the. I hadn't seen. Yeah. Back to May. We're looking around the woods because really they're they're knights that uh, guardians of truth and justice in the galaxy. They, that that's what they are, and they have to operate within a bureaucracy mm -hmm. that has rules and councils and regulations and Senate passing bills, and they have to do stuff like that, and they have to account for their actions, and that's in this too. Is they didn't want to account for their actions. So they just lie. They just want to cover everything up and lie all the time. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> all of that is just downright terrible for, yeah. to, for multiple Jedis to be involved in. I, Maybe I, one I, if you have a fall from grace plotline. Yeah, I think the idea is you're supposed to be wrapped up more in the character drama. But it's, which it's, was what? Which is lacking in that, too. But I think that May was and the Osha? idea. May and Osha and, and Sol, yeah, that, that kind of, those three characters. Because those scenes very felt felt very like yeah Kylo Ren and Rey yeah. to me, and so yeah I thought that was kind of going to develop into something, but no, but, but, it doesn't yeah. take much convincing for her to kind of get on his side, but then it's not really developed into anything. There's a very weird speaking of lack of development when they're going Osha or no May, May and Dark Helmet they're going to kill the Wookiee Jedi and they're wandering through the woods. And then almost out of nowhere, May changes her mind. It's like, my sister being alive changes everything, and now I'm not going to kill the Wookiee. I can't believe my sister shed ice gum. Like, he came all this way. There's nothing, like, new, no new information that made her change her mind. Just in the middle of the episode, she just changed her mind and changed the course of her entire motivation. And I was like, why did that happen? Why did that happen in this story? By the time you get to the end of this season, and yeah, it's more light fighting dark with lightsabers, and there's even a line that's like, I think I wrote it down, that's something like, strike him down and you will become more yeah. powerful. Oh yeah, it's like lifted right. Lifted right from the original movie. And I was, I was just like, oh, we're doing this again. Yeah. Everyone's got their thing, and some people are super into Star Wars. And I think that's why they're all mad, because not that the show 
I don't, maybe it threw some of the canon and got things wrong, but I think it's the tone of, it's like if they, what it's done with the Jedi as a whole. Yeah, yeah. it's like it's like for me the, the the for them it's the Jedi acting like like Keystone cops. Mm -hmm. uh, they're they're stupid. They're, they cover things up. They lie. They're, they're awful. They kill people. <laughs> they, they steal children from lesbian <laughs> space witches. <laughs> to me, that that's the equivalent of when these Starfleet crew in Strange New Worlds act like idiotic teenagers is that was crossing the line is to make the Jedi sketchy. Yeah. Oblivious is one thing. Sketchy and incompetent is another. Sure. And I think that was the that was the the big sin of this show. Not so much like the boring like twin plot and it's like nah, whatever. Um, or even the lesbian space, which is messing around with a weird element of the force. Like, I was like, okay, whatever. I, I thought that was kind of interesting. It but wasn't executed great, but when, it's, it's yeah. a new element to add to Star Wars. When it was revealed that everybody was, was shitty, that's when I was out. Yeah. And I'm like, nah. So that's our recap of Star Wars The Acolyte. Had potential, but made many, many, many mistakes mm -hmm. in, in its production and uh, didn't know which path to take, didn't know what to focus on, and did many things that upset many fans. Uh, I guess I'm kind of in line with Rich, where I thought it was incredibly mediocre. Not worth getting angry about, and, and, but not really a whole lot to praise. You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. People well, don't understand what, when you call this show mediocre. They call you a Disney show. They don't yeah. understand what that means. Any nuance is lost no, on no. discussing any of these Star Wars products. Every, everything's not as black and white. Everything's not, it's, it's fucking terrible or it's great. My overall impression of it is... <laughs> <laughs> um, because I really, It's not the worst thing ever. I I don't know. Whatever the, the second flashback, yeah. where we get it from a different point of view. And we see the main witch lady turn, in, turn into smoke. Oh, yeah. And just the uh, soul immediately just tries to stab the smoke. Yeah. He doesn't even know what's happening. He just, yeah, that's trigger happy. He just immediately reacts violently. Yeah. And then, like... And that's the cause of all of this. He doesn't even know what's happening. He said there's uh, a fire. Um... um... What? 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 what is that power? What? 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 Kill it with what fire. The what the fuck that? is this? What the? Good thinking, Soul. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Thank God. You Thank God you stopped her. I don't know what she yeah. was about to do. Thank God. You have no idea what Kill that, that was. evil witch. She was about to fucking. It looked like she was disintegrating. She went uh, to like May. I was going to let. Oh, that has nothing to do with this, what just happened there. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have threatened you, everybody with you your spooky magical big, powers there. You turned super evil. Like she had, had like spiky right teeth, and then she mind controlled like Torbin earlier. There's no reason to think yeah. that wasn't going to be an offensive move. Exactly. That's what Soul that's what happens. Made a very intelligent decision. I'm that's like very quickly grabbing your wallet when a yeah, police officer's got a gun on you. What the fuck are you doing? Bear in mind that Horn Lady was the one preparing to attack first. Yeah, she definitely made the first move, and Horn Lady didn't do anything when he stabbed her. I think that's out of character. Character. 